This is the one that was at Brian and Sarah's house. We just brought it home uh, Tuesday night. We're going ahead and moving it into the hive box today. The morning uh, after we brought this box here, we set it out here, and I used duct tape. Uh, take a piece of screen wire a little bigger than the opening and duct tape it on. Uh, so we brought it out here and set it out here that night. And the next morning, I came out and I took the duct tape off. We went down to Bojangles, had a biscuit, and came back. And these bees were already flying and bringing in pollen that morning. Uh, so I'm really interested to see what these bees are doing. The this box weighed about 10 pounds. So we were pretty happy with this swarm when we took it out of the tree. Uh, just want to stop for a second here, see if we see a queen. Uh, we got a little bit of honey in here. We got pollen. I don't see a queen on this side yet. Oh, one down here. Oh, maybe two. two. Yeah, you can see this band of honey from right here up to the top is honey. Uh, that's quite a bit of nectar in there. Smoke kind of calms the bees a little bit. Uh, you don't want to over smoke them. But it does calm them down a little bit, makes them a little more relaxed. Ooh, there's three. So All right. we got a laying queen. So I'm going to get over here close. I'm going to turn this frame around so you're looking at what I'm looking at. So that's honey right there. These capped areas right there are the baby bees. That's, that's the brood. And that's a bunch of bees working there. Now we had about an inch foundation strip in there. And all the rest of that they have built out. Since we have a uh, brood in there, we know we have a queen that's laying eggs. So that's all we need to know to know that this hive's going to be okay. But if we were to see the queen, we would go ahead and mark her if, if it's easy to do. Uh, she don't have to be marked. Just makes it easier sometimes if you're going through and doing an inspection to find her. Um, if you have a bunch of bees, sometimes it's kind of hard to see that queen. Oh man, another good frame here. You can see there's brood, a little bit of cat brood there. A little band of honey on top. Still another sign of the queen? I didn't notice her, but like I said, we don't have to find her. Now what we have done this frame, this stand right here, this stand down here at the bottom, we put this swarm box on there as soon as we brought it home. Uh, so the field bees that are out are used to coming to right there. This box, the opening was right there. 
So the ones that are out working today, they're coming back and they're just a little bit confused because they've been coming into this brown box, but it was over there. So that's where they're going to be looking to go back, but they're a little confused right now. So that's why there's a bunch of them flying around. Got more brood down here at the bottom. We've got uh, bee bread, which is a mixture of pollen and nectar. And that's what the bees eat on a daily basis. And that's what they feed the baby bees. Yeah, she's laying. Awesome. But this is honey, and this here is cat brood. The yellow with the bumps on it. So from the time the queen lays an egg until it, a bee emerges, it's 21 days. Same, uh, same as chickens, they take 21 days. Now, that's for a regular worker bee. Get out of there, little bee. There you go. Uh, the queens take less time, but they're fed a special diet of uh, royal jelly and they they emerge much quicker much quicker and they only eat royal jelly their whole life so it's good to be the queen you get the good stuff but you can see all the bees on there Don't see the queen walking around. Like I said, we don't have to see her. We know she's there. We know she's doing work. Out there, little bee. If I put a little smoke, they're trying to walk up this little gap right here. If I put a little smoke there, they run down, then I can pull that up. Oh, get out, B. And they're pretty resilient. Just try not to smush them. They don't like being smushed. If you do smush a bee, or if one stings you, they put out a pheromone that the other bees smell, and it's kind of the attack signal. So, if you smush one, everybody else is mad real quick. This has got a little more brood on top. I mean, a little more honey, a little bit bigger band of honey up here on top. There's no brood in this one here. But there's nectar in there. You can see the shiny stuff down below the cap. That's nectar. You see this little cell right down here? I don't know if you can see it. There's pollen in that. There's pollen in a bunch of them. And they mix the pollen and the nectar together to make the bee bread. And since there's no brood on this one, I wouldn't really expect to see the queen over here. She's usually going to be on the uh, frames that have the brood on it. I am checking the box to see if I see her in the box, though, just to make sure that we haven't left her in the box. I don't see her. But you look, too, to make sure you don't see her in the box. Do you want to get more frames? Um, I think, since they hadn't filled these out all the way, I think I'll just get, like, Maybe two. Why don't you go get us two frames? So we're gonna get two frames with starter strips, and while Shirley's doing that, I'll let you see the bees that are left in the box here. And there's quite a few in there. And if you see all that stuff in the bottom, uh, that's some. Uh, it's little pieces of pollen. It's some uh, little pieces of wax and stuff like that so i don't want to turn that box up down upside down and shake the bees into the 
hide because it dumps all that stuff in there and we don't really need it in there. So I'm just gonna put this right here and this is their opening. I've got this one blocked off and later on I can open both of them. I can close this down part of the way in the winter time. Uh, this is actually a mouse guard uh, to keep small rodents out. I have one of those frames. So this is our frames to start with. Uh, when we cut our sheets, we've been putting uh, three quarters of an inch. Well, get away, B. We, we've been putting about a one inch strip on here, but when you get to the end, you get a piece here that's about maybe an inch and a half. So I put a couple of those in. Now that's a little thicker than what the bees need. So they will draw that out to about this thickness right here. These frames are an inch and a half. So that gives them three quarters of an inch that they'll draw that out on each side and uh, make their home. But we're just gonna give them a couple of frames to grow on. You don't wanna give them too much because that's stuff that they have to heat. And it's not only do they have to heat it, they have to defend it if uh, small hive beetles or mites or something gets in there. So you don't want to give them more space than they need or can defend. So I put a divider board in here. And we go grab me a top bar. That bundle, you just slide pins. one. Yeah, there's a whole bundle. Just slide one out of the middle, and a couple push pins. I'm gonna just pick the camera up and stick it over here so you can see what we've done. I know that's gonna look weird, but we just put the empty frames in, and this board. I've got it spaced up with two push pins. And you can see the screen in the bottom. The screen is for ventilation. So by putting that follower board up a little bit, it helps with the ventilation. And it won't be long those bees will be coming on up. As soon as we put the cover on, and all this is just a top bar that doesn't have a frame on it. So I'm going to push it up there tight and just put a push pin in it just to keep that off. Just to keep that off. Divider board. divider board from vibrating back around. Uh, you're right. We are right beside a trailer a railroad track here. Gosh, that's hard. Matter of fact, I hear the train coming now, so we need to hurry up so you can hear the video. And that'll just keep that board from falling away. He can get out. If you'll uh, bring the camera around to the back side, A lot of times if you've seen any of our videos building, you'll hear the train or you hear the forklift running. We're right behind the lumber yard. It's a shame they don't throw some over the fence for me. That'd be wonderful. But this is our don't worry, be happy hive. Uh, Keeley came up to the mountains and it was the first time that she ever cooked s'mores on a campfire. She went to a gem mine and she found all kinds of gems. And 
our house in the mountain is up a steep mountain road with a lot of curves in it. And there was ladybugs out and there was uh, turkey vultures flying. So Keeley decorated this box here for us. I think her mom helped a little bit on parts of it. But I think it's going to make a real happy place for the bees to live. And uh, we're looking forward to kind of help take care of them for a while.